Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ashlita and I thought I would be posting a video every day, but I felt great yesterday. So not felt great every day, but I felt great yesterday to the point where I wanted to go back to work. And so I was out and about without my mask and today I feel very sick. I've been having a fever. I'm on antibiotics and I've just been like short of breath and very tired and sleeping. But I watched a Jackie Ina video and she kind of inspired me to want to do some makeup. My hair is getting so long, so I can, all I can do is like the Lady Buddha bun. So, I'm going to do some glam, not going anywhere but bed. <coughs> but I'm going to put some illuminating, illumination on my skin from e.l.f. e.l.f. And just pat it in because um, I'm going to try to look matte with it, I guess put like a matte um, foundation on and see my skin looks bad all right it's kind of hard to put stuff on your face with gloves I'm so tired <clears throat> at least though when I inhale it doesn't my left lung doesn't burn anymore <coughs> and I'm finally getting a little mucus I've been neglecting the ColourPop no filter foundation and this is fair 35 I can't remember my dog has separation anxiety right now I can't remember if it's too light or just right so we'll see all right now I'm just gonna mix my two favorite concealers um, under my eyes I do want to do a little bit of glam I think Maybe I can look right a little bit glam with my Buddha bun. Alright, I'm going to blend that back. Black blend this in and I'll be back. Don't worry too much about how it looks. It'll all come together shortly. And then this is the ColourPop No Filter Translucent Powder. So I'm gonna use some of it. And then I'm gonna go in um, with a little bit of Cody Airspun too. So I'm just going to go under, I mean above, I mean over top the ColourPop. And just do those areas now. <clears throat> All right, so Jackie Ina gets me with this eyeshadow. Okay. <sighs> <coughs> so I'm just going to take some e.l.f. concealer and prime my eyes. Alright, so I blended it out. So I'm going to put, oh, I should, I think I'm going to start with, I think I'm going to start with this orange looking color first. Um, in my crease. I don't know if I even look good with these colors. But she doesn't, Jackie, 
Ina doesn't um, set her concealer. She just goes right on in with the, um, why does it don't look the color that it's in the pan? Anyway, she just goes straight in. So I'm going to use this kind of to like set my concealer and be my base color down, I guess. Maybe. We'll see. Now I just want to pack in like this crimson color on the center of my eye, maybe. My bottom lid, maybe. Bring it. I want it to look, I want my eye texture to look like matte velvet. And I've, done, I've never really done like a grungy red type smoky eye. You know what I mean? I don't like that. All right, I guess, you know what I do? I'll just pack a little bit using this. And then we'll go back to a fluffy brush. I'm going to go back in with that same color with a fluffy brush. I had started with the orange and just kind of fluff this in on top of it. Yo, I just go ham, okay? That's all I do. All right, so now I'm going to take this brick looking color. And I think I'm going to just do that in the outer V and on the bottom, I think. I may have to add black. So I'm just going to have fluff this here and see where it goes. I'm going to take a break from the eyes and I'm going to do my brows. Right now I'm just setting underneath and a little bit into my brows with um, just a plain, uh, what is it, beige, matte, whatever, skin tone. As you guys know, brows are not my specialty. I am going to try to clean it up, as I say, try. Since I got a little carried away <clears throat> and my inner eye area right in here. I hope I can salvage this. And I'm just using foundation that is dripping everywhere. And it's the same foundation. I'm actually starting to look like the alien thing on RuPaul's Drag Race. Anyways, let me fix it and see if I can salvage it. BRB. I think I want a shiny lid. Um, so this is what it looks like. I think, I don't know, we're gonna see. But this is some glitter glue. So, what I'm gonna do is, oh, what do I wanna do? Do I wanna do a halo? Yeah, let's try that. All right, so I'm gonna, just stick some glue on right in this area. I got glue in my eyelashes. But I want to take this color up here and put it over the glue using this sponge applicator that I use to put the glitter glue on my eyelids, which is getting really sticky. Alright, I think I'm going to change something up. And, alright, you see the inner corner? I'm going to add a lot of glue, apparently. Right in here. Like so. Alright. 
Alright, so I'm going to take this brush and do some blending. Um, I kind of don't like it. I'm always doing things that look like a hot mess. Alright, so I'm going to take this Tarte. Um, Tartiest Eyeliner in black. Gosh, I haven't done eyeliner with this in such a long time. I don't really wear eyeliner on the reels. Yo, I started getting into Netflix and I watched um, three seasons of The 100 and then I just, well, I'm on the third season. I don't know if I like this little brush. Um, I do like this liner. I forgot that I how much I liked it. Cause I like it a little wet. <clears throat> and then I got hooked on watching people cleaning extreme carpet cleaning. It's, it says satisfying carpet cleaning. It really is. I, you have to turn the volume down. That, that those noises when the volume is low it really is soothing and then I've been watching people you know picking their dandruff scraping that was very relaxing too since I blinked <clears throat> and I got mascara everywhere <clears throat> I'm gonna let that dry down but in the meantime, I think um, I want to darken my under eye just a little. So I'm just going to take this dirty brush and any black will work. And I just put mascara down here. And it's still wet. Jesus Christ. What was I thinking? <sighs> Let's see. Oh, Lord Jesus. You know what? I think this belly. That helps. I don't know what I was recording or not. All right, so now I'm just gonna wipe all this powder off and try to get my face ready for uh, contour, powder contour, and highlighting. That e.l.f. illuminator did me wrong, but I'm gonna continue on. I'm gonna use this cool color, um, I guess it's like a bronzer, and I'm gonna start contouring. And this takes me a little while, so bear with me. Now I'm going to warm up my face and I'm going to use um, a, the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. And I'm just going to tap it around too. Because I like to glow everywhere, I'm going to use my Physicians Formula. It gives like a slight glow, <clears throat> but it's their Insta Ready Super BB Powder. Like I know. And I think I'm going to take the Milani Luminoso <clears throat> and use it as my um, blush slash highlight. All right, I think I'm going to do some more setting powder. That e.l.f. stuff that I use, the illuminator, is causing the foundation to slip and slide right off. Um, that was too peachy for this eye look, so I'm going to take the Dolce or Dolce Pink. Um, and these are the Milani blushes that everybody be raving about, like the little baked brushes, you know. And if we get to him. As y'all see, I have a shitload of setting powder. Girl. Girl. 
we can fix it. I wonder if y'all can see just how cakey I really am. And see, I hate that harsh line. So what you can do is just take your bronzer blush, brush and just kind of help it out with that line underneath. I don't have highlighter on yet, but I'm gonna spritz my face. Okay, y'all, I should have just wiped my face hours ago, but we got too deep into the game um, to know, okay? I always be fucking up on glam looks. But you live and you learn, and y'all are watching me learn. All right, I'm gonna try this highlighter here by The Balm, and it's a Mary, Mary Lou Luminizer. Um, I'm gonna do my inner eye corner here once I find something to poke there. All right, my inner corner is highlighted. I don't know if y'all can see it. Like I said, my foundation, foundation, my base looks like absolute duke duke. So hopefully, give it a little bit of shine. It'll take away from the texture and um, the buttermilk look, clabbered milk, whatever issue that's going on on the face. I'm also going to take some of this and highlight right in here on my brow bone but not too much because we'll be highlighting my hairs where I haven't squeezed in years just kidding it's been like a month all right so I'm thinking about doing like a berry color lippy and seeing out how that goes and I have this eyeliner and it's old and um, I need to sharpen it all right, it's like scrape, scraping this skin off my lip. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I guess I'm gonna use this. Um, this is the Ultra Satin Lip by Karuchi X Color Pop. And I may do it like a lip liner. Oh yeah. I can't remember if I've already done this flavor. But I'm gonna try to line my lips with this. All right. I did the best I could. And now I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit, suit Rubble Rose, um, like in the center. And I think that's it, but let me see. All right, you guys, this is the finished look. Oddly enough, <clears throat> as I've been doing my makeup for the past two hours, um, I started feeling better. I'm still really sleepy, but I got like, I don't know. Doing makeup is like hyp hypnotizing to me. Ugh. It um, gets me right with the universe. Like it sets something up like, do y'all hear me wheezing? <sighs> if you do, I'm sorry. I, it's, you know, part of, part of my autoimmune disease. You know, I had, it caused... Um, scar tissue in the lungs so <clears throat> I've been wheezing since over a year ago um, I have bronchopneumonia and it was it's still like it feels like I still have it even though it's been over a year <sighs> so um, plus you know I caught that infection and it made it worse um, in my chest chest area and other things but anyways I don't ever do glam. Um, I probably would not even go anywhere like this except around the house. But I enjoy it. It's something for me to do that makes me happy. It comforts me and it sets the mood. Um, it makes me feel great. And I guess it's like my hobby. And I enjoy sharing y'all, sharing my hobby with you guys. Um, like I said, I'm learning how to do everything. I'm not a pro, and I just really wished for the best that it, you know, everything worked out. And it doesn't look bad. I mean, I might go to the strip club or something. I mean, as long as it's dark, I'll be fine. Or whoever is looking at me will be fine. But anyways, 
that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, dislike, whatever you want to do and share. I love you guys. Have a great night.